channel and as you can see guys it is steam deck time again oh yes and yeah it is another emulation video and a very interesting system we're going to be emulating on the gorgeous gorgeous steam deck this time round guys it is the amiga cd32 oh yes we are we're going to be jumping on that absolutely wonderful console that was so underrated guys it really really was it never really did take off it had plenty of games released to it because of course they ported a lot of the uh, the other amiga games over onto it it is such a tragic bloody thing i know uh, commodore at the time they were promoting it as the first cd based system and all that um so yeah, I mean, he would have thought people would have been jumping on it. But of course, it was extortionate to buy at the time. And that just put people off. It was the same story, of course, with the 3DO as well. So yeah, really, until Saturn and PlayStation came along, people really couldn't afford them. Obviously, the Saturn and the PlayStation were pretty pricey, but they were nowhere near as expensive as the Air. Uh, as the 3D or and the beautiful Amiga CD32. What a shame, such a bloody shame, it really, really is. But yes, guys, this is a very interesting system to jump on. I think uh, the Steam Deck is going to do a beautiful job of it, but shall we find out, shall we? Yeah, as we jump back on the Steam Deck for another emulation video, but of a very different system this time, guys. Oh, beautiful beautiful thing that it is. Right, let's go then, shall we? Right guys, first up is one that has done the rounds, guys. This has been on everything. NES, oh, Master System. I think it's been on everything, guys. It really, really has on 8-bit and 16-bit. But of course, it was also ported over to this fantastic machine, guys. It was. And shall we see how? The deck handles Alfred Chicken. It's a wicked game, guys. It really is. Once you get the uh, hang of it, that is. Right, let's find out. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. Just seeing that. Alfred, love him. Right, here we go then. Let's play, shall we? I tell you what, it's an unforgiving game, but it's fantastic. 
There we go, you just jump up, get these uh, things, and avoid those bloody mice because they chop you apart. As you're probably going to find out in a minute. There we go, get that. There we go. Nice one. Up here. Watch out for those bloody chickens, uh, like I said. Those chickens, those mice, you div. <laughs> yeah, you can get higher and higher here. But you got to watch out. Uh, look for these bloody things. Yeah, all these obstacles, guys. There we go. Ooh, yep, we go like that. Get onto that edge and they can't get you. Uh, apart from him, because he did. He came right the bloody way up to me. <laughs> he certainly did. you got to get to the door, guys. That's the trouble. Now get up here. Then you can get that last one. There we go. This is a fantastic game, guys. And it does look like the superior version on this fantastic system. It really does. But look, you still got to get all these things here. They're not even appearing yet, look, because... Yeah, you haven't uh, yeah, done the right thing yet and uh, made them accessible. So, we're going to go all the way back down there, you bugger. Oh, naughty. Bloody thing. Here we go, look. Let's go over here, wait for me to come out of the way. Come on, you. Come out of the way, you bugger. All right, don't then. Fine. Come on, you bugger. Oh, come on. Do it. Pop that bloody balloon, will ya? Oh, we got him instead. Cool. No, okay, then. Fine. You sod. But as you can see, guys, this is a fantastic game. It's very, very weird, but it's absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. And I really do believe that very strongly. Wonderful game. Let's go. Oh, they got me, but that's fine. Because it is time to move on to the next gem, isn't it? it certainly is. Right, here we go. Right, and up next, guys, we have Bump and Burn. This is a Mario Kart style game, guys, but with very different graphics. Very Commodore Amiga, that's for sure. But yeah, it is a fantastic little kart game if you give it a chance. I'm going to do absolutely terrible because I haven't played this in years. And uh, yeah, I knew that it's, um, you know, I know I should say, that it's a little bit of a hard one to master, that's for sure. But it is worth your while. I tell you that now. It is a wonderful, wonderful game. So yeah, shall we see how Decky handles this one then? Here we go. There we go again. I love that. Well, that's a fantastic start there, right away, isn't it? Sure is, and there's the high scores, guys. Let's move it on. Here we are with the map. And we're going to start at the beginning, of course. Here we go. What a glorious day it is here at the Fabulous Fundrome. Home to that dashing debonair playboy, Mr. Fabulous. The Fundrome is the fastest circuit in Tunia, easily the favorite of all those who feel the need for speed. But watch out for old oil slicks, long dark tunnels, and Mr. Fabulous's dust as he screams past. Looking good there, Mr. F. Right, here we go. Here we are. Into the action we go. You can see, guys, yeah, what an interesting art style. But you collect the stars, you collect the coins. It is very much Mario Kart inspired, I'm sure. Absolutely fantastic music. What an interesting game, guys. Very, very interesting. You can go up here, of course, and collect the things there. I'm actually doing a bit better than I thought I would. I haven't played it for so long, guys. But yeah, this is a wonderful game. Fantastic card game.
<laughs> Love it. And of course you can, uh, you know, turn invisible and all that crap. If you've picked up any uh, items, you can shoot them at other people. It's looking a bit washed out again, unfortunately. Again, that seems to be a bloody thing for me, doesn't it? My viewfinder is terrible. You can see that oil on the floor there, guys. You've got to avoid that, otherwise you get slid over to the side like I just have anyway. <laughs> That's probably put me right behind now. Let's go for punch bag, shall we? Oh, yeah, oh, look, I'm... Bloody hell. There we go. Oh, they've locked me up, my stars. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, see what I mean, guys? You hit that oil and uh, you got it. You go sliding. I'm probably the last person. But at least you're getting to see this fantastic racer. And it is fantastic, it really is. Yeah, people <laughs> complain, as you might have just noticed there, about the music just going on a loop. But I think that's alright, that doesn't matter. The music's pretty good, so that's fine with me. Get out of the tunnel, because it's even more washed out in the tunnel. Doesn't look as bad here. I'm not going to win this, guys. I'm going to buy a longer shot. That's the bloody show. Come on, you sods, get off. Yeah, you can also knock people aside, of course, like I just did there. Am I going to hit something? Yeah, I knew it. That slows you right down, of course. So I'm going to be bloody last place. That is for sure. Get out of the way. Awesome game. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> I just hit a bloody tree, but... Come on, you. Let's just get to that finish line. I know I'm last. Maybe I can just overtake him. That would be good. Oh, and another one. Wow, wicked. Oh, we're back in the washed out tunnel. Sorry, guys. Be out of it soon. Fantastic game. Really, really is brilliant. There we go, look, I've just dropped some. Oh, well, no, I've actually sped up, guys. Wicked. But yeah, where did I come in the end? Uh? Well, that was fantastic, guys. But yeah, I didn't win, guys, did I? No, I bloody didn't. Of course, I didn't win. But yeah, fantastic game, but it's time to move on. Dad, you'll never believe what I just got. The new Amiga CD32 games console. It's got the best games and it's twice as fast as any other console. Hmm. Not only that, but it also plays normal CDs. That's interesting. Yeah, soon it'll have full motion video so you can watch movies and stuff. Is that right? Maybe we should get one for the grandkids, eh, son? Great idea, Dad. The new Amiga CD32 available now at Dick Smith Electronics. Right guys, up next we have the Chaos Engine, but this is a very different uh, beast indeed. It has lots of extra bits. I mean, it's been ported onto just about everything. It's even made an appearance on the fabulous Evercade family of systems. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, definitive version, I think, personally. A lot of people uh, disagree with me on that, unfortunately, and would think that is practically the same. But I don't, guys, I don't. I think it runs... Oh, beautifully, beautifully, and even a little bit better than on all the other systems it's been released onto. I really do believe that very strongly. Now let's find out how a deck handles this gorgeous run and gun. Sometime in the last century, an experimenter in time and space created a bizarre machine, the Chaos Engine. Although primitive, the machine became incredibly powerful and turned against its creator. Its power to corrupt time and matter was out of control. A cloud of chaos descended over the land. 
humans and animals were turned into ravenous beasts. Someone must destroy the Chaos Engine before it is too late. Six soldiers of fortune are available for hire. The Gentleman, the Thug, the Preacher, the Brigand, the Mercenary, the Navi. Wicked. Wow, what an intro, guys. One intro. Yeah, one player versus CPU. God, there's a million it. Right, here's where you choose your characters, guys. I'm just gonna go up for that one, yeah, and that one, that'll do. Wicked. So yeah, you've got plenty of choices there. There we go. We'll wander the forest. That'll be about as far as we get as well, probably. Knowing me. Right, here we go. As you see here, guys, straight away there's some there. Oh, he got me already, did he? Oh, nearly. Get him quick before he gets you. That's the aim of this game, guys. Get them before they get you. Oh, they keep getting me. No, oh, well. But what a fantastic game, eh? It is a beautiful game. Yeah, get that as well, guys. Yeah. Okay, I've got... Oh, he got me. That went right back to the beginning, unfortunately. But uh, they don't all come back, that's one good thing. That's still already sorted. The old, uh, whatever that is, bloody power thing. Got him. They're gonna get me more though, I bet, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go, look. Oh, that's a better weapon. That's excellent, look. And then it opens that up as well. Got him, cool. I'm gonna get that one straight away. Oh, I'm gonna get gutted again in a minute. Oh, well, this is fantastic. What a game, guys. I love this game so much. I might not be good at it, but I love it. Oh, there we go. I've got some yin and yang. Yin and yang. Get it right. Otherwise, I'll have somebody in the comments going, you said it wrong. Oh. Right back there, guys. But that's enough. Let's move on from this gorgeous game. And there we go, guys. With another one that has been ported to everything. And it really, really has. But this is the definitive version, in my opinion. This is beautiful. And I tell you what, all the banners up to now have been gorgeous, haven't they? I mean, look at this one again. Absolutely fantastic, especially when I focus it in better. Beautiful. It is James Pond 2 Robocod, of course. Absolutely an awesome, awesome game. But yeah, let's see. The, uh, Definitive version running on the deck. Here we go. Oh, I could never gets old, guys, that for me. Somewhere deep below the ocean waves lies the top secret headquarters of SI5H. Reporting for duty is SI5H's top agent, James Pond, is licensed to kill. Above or below the waves, Pond's sharp shooting and lightning reflexes never let him down. No mission is impossible for Pond, but he'll have to be quick off the draw to defeat his arch enemy, Dr. Mayday. Get ready, James Pond is back. <laughs> I love that. That is brilliant. Right, here we go, guys. Let's start this thing, shall we? There we go. A bit of story here. Brilliant. Right, let's play it. Right, here we go. 
out in the cold here. Yeah. Let's get over here. I'm sure most of you know this fantastic franchise. What an awesome, awesome franchise it is. If we get anywhere here, let's go. Oh, we're just going the door, guys. Here we go. <laughs> There's a star up there. Let's see if we can get that quick. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Wicked. Beautiful game. The music is fantastic. It looks fantastic. Although it gets a little bit more interesting than this. This is quite bland, I suppose, this level. But it gets absolutely gorgeous looking. It really does. Well, hey, got him. Okay. And of course, you uh, stretch like this. And you can hang on to things like that. Which is cool. Now we can go up here and do it. There we go. And you're up there now. Cool. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful game. Beautiful. And then we can jump. And we're just going to end up back down here again. That's okay guys, that has shown you a little bit of this absolute gem running on the Steam Deck. But it's time to move on. Right guys, for this video this will be the last title and it is Kid Chaos. Again, fantastic game guys. It really, really is wonderful. And you know, it hasn't appeared on very much else either, I don't believe. So yeah, this is a very interesting one to play indeed. Really, really awesome, awesome game if you give it a chance. So yeah, let's see how Deck handles this one. But don't worry guys, I'll be doing multiple parts to this beautiful, beautiful machine being emulated on the Valve's beauty. Right, here we go. Course by ocean. Yep. <laughs> He's originally a caveman. Oh, wicked. Right. Love that. Absolutely love that intro. The music's fantastic. Here we go, guys. The secret garden. Right, here we are. As you can see, guys, it is a platformer. But very different. Look, you can flit around, use your club to hit the enemy and all that. And collect items, of course. Oh, hey. And you go very, very fast if you're not careful. Oh, it's playing beautifully on it. I'll tell you what, the emulation has been... Absolutely staggering, it really has. It's been wonderful. With the sound and the graphics and everything that's just running so perfect, guys. It really is. So there we got him look. Just gotta be careful where you're whacking. Because otherwise you're gonna get whacked, aren't you? It's a bit like Sonic there, but <laughs> there we go, got it. Wicked. What an absolutely awesome, awesome game guys, it really is. I love that aspect there it is very much like Sonic the Hedgehog in that sense it's beautiful absolutely so fun I mean we're speedrunning it here in a way aren't we but uh, yeah brilliant just keep getting them anyways you've got to get your aim just right guys and that like I just did then and uh, I'll bugger that out then there we go I've got that come on you bloody rabbit where are you there you go you sod oh missed him come on that's it, got him. Okay, <laughs> get all the flowers. That, that's just cool. So cool. You can just about smash anything. Oh, just got past that one now. Look how fast we're going. They were definitely going for a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, type game here, weren't they? Eh? Oh yeah, no, uh, definitely. Wow. It is just wonderful, it really is. Let's just uh, keep going here. 
Let's speed run this a bit. Oh, he got me the bugger. But I did get to the uh, yeah, the checkpoint and all that, so that's cool. Oh yeah, get go away. That's it, get him, yeah. Get that timing just right guys and you'll be okay. But I haven't got the bloody key ever. No, I haven't, so I can't get in there. But that is a good place to leave it guys. Wasn't that fantastic? It's the star of the show, I think. It really is beautiful. Right, back with my final thoughts. first 32-bit CD games console. Well, there we go, guys. I mean, wow. Oh, my God. It plays beautifully, beautifully on the Steam Deck, guys. Once you've got it all sorted, got all the bits and bobs in the right place, your BIOSes and what have you, it is an absolute oh, dream to play these games. It really, really is of such an underrated console guys it's an absolute crying shame and of course these days it costs a fortune to pick up the system and the games are getting pretty damn pricey as well so yeah this is a fabulous way of carrying on the love for this fantastic system guys that is so deeply underrated oh i love it absolutely love it we looked at some awesome games there guys we really did and that's only touching the uh, the tip of the iceberg, shall we say, for this fantastic machine. And what did you think, guys? I thought it was absolute emulation perfection. Down to the sound, the graphics, everything ran utterly smooth. It was a dream to uh, play these games on here. It has always been such a difficult system, really, to set up in the past. But, oh, with a little bit of tweaking here and there, guys, mm, it is a little bit harder to set up than some of the other emulators, but once you do, guys, you'll never look back. It is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I can't stipulate that enough. I mean, I'm a huge Commodore fan, as you probably all know. But, yeah, that is just perfection. But what did you think, guys? Which one sticks out to you? There were some unusual titles there. Which one, you know, Floats your boat. What would you like to play on your Steam Deck if you've got one? Or well, something like this, guys. This, this emulation actually persuades you finally to get off the fence and buy one. But I tell you what, you will not regret it. Not for a second will you ever regret picking up the Steam Deck. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. You know what to do, guys? Get down to the comments and let me know what you think of this. Yeah, look at a more unusual system, eh? Mmm, beautiful though. Right, with that guys, I'm going to wrap things up. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs, thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again guys, if you love emulation and retro systems, I've got a fantastic group for you over on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles Fan Group. It is absolutely staggering, guys, that we are now well over 3,000 members. Oh, just, just fantastic. We could never have believed it when me and Nate set it up. Never believed it would get so big so quick, guys. It is brilliant. So there's tons of like-minded people for you to banter with. The world's greatest admin team ever. And I don't say that lightly, guys. They are wonderful. And again, guys, just a ton of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance, and of course, tech help videos, and a whole lot more. So if all that interests you guys, it is linked below. Head over. We'd love to see you. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, from the dawn of gaming with palm machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And oh, wow. Evergrowing member base there as well, guys, of all video game loving folk for you to again have a banter with. Tons of content because other YouTubers put videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. So, yeah, if you just love gaming from any of the periods in time, guys, then that is the place for you. Again, it will be linked below. Head over there, we'd love to see you there as well. And then finally, guys, I have my channel membership for as little as 99 pence a month. You can become a member of the UK Crap family. This will give you access to the members only videos. It will get you a badge 
next to your name in the comments that changes color of the map and let's let everybody know that you are a member of the uk crown family oh brilliant there is other tiers guys with other perks attached to those tiers so yeah just find that join button take a look and see what you think right and with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you and say your videos in juice and goodbye i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye